If you guys want to get notified whenever I buy or sell a player, make sure to follow me on ultimatetrader.club, sign up for free now, and check how I make coins with my trading journal. How's it going everyone and welcome to a video that was requested on my channel uh, on Twitch because you guys want to see my tactics, my team. Uh, now you guys know I'm not a pro player but I just want to show off uh, an OP team that you can use before we go into the Black Friday, into the team of the year where you guys can make amazing coins. Uh, and as I said on my uh, Twitch channel, you guys need to right now build yourself cheap OP teams to have in your team and then when the uh, team of the year comes that's when you buy those OP players who go for more than maybe 50,000 coins until that just save your coins trade invest and make uh, your way through FIFA now going into this team right now you know this Golem this is an investing guy I, I bought him because uh, he's already up in price and I think he'll continue rising uh, if you if you follow and subscribe to my journal you would have seen that I bought uh, just one version of him now right now now, if uh, I go into this team and talk a bit about the players, I really like how Perotti plays. Uh, he's a uh, five-star weak foot, four-star skill moves. I always look that my strikers have good weak foot because uh, getting into those positions where they need to score, I want them to have good weak foot. Now, you might have noticed this formation. This formation is because uh, it's the defending this year is really hard and my CDMs help a lot. Uh, they both have high defensive work rates, which is amazing. This means that they go back, they run, and they really uh, try to do their best while getting back when uh, attackers, my opponent, is attacking. So uh, if you check this team right now, um, there are a few tactics I use, and this formation is just amazing. Basically, what I do here in every game, I just pass up to my striker, who I want him to have a lot of physical ability. This is really important because I press L2 and I hold the ball, and while I pass to, to, to my striker and while he holds the ball, I get these three guys, the left mid, the cam, and my right mid, to get in behind. These are also the tactics I'm going to show you. They get in behind and they score loads and I mean like crazy amount of goals. I will just show you guys here right now uh, an example of the Brazil version which works great as well. We got four star skillers here as well. I just need to input my right back because I used it for an SBC yesterday. But but um, just if you check, like he's got 85 physical ability, uh, great for just holding the ball. And he's also tall, so uh, he holds the ball amazingly and lets these three players get in behind. Now, if we go into player instructions real quickly, you guys will see that I let, I let my left back to stay back while attacking. I don't want him to go up while we attack. Also, my right back, I want him to stay back while attacking. On my CDM, uh, I just put one CDM who's got like high... If, and this guy has medium medium though but my other Allen has high defensive uh, work rates I, I just let him to stay a bit behind whoever has better defending whoever has better physical ability I want them to stay a bit back behind and uh, my cam I just in player roles um, I just want in player instructions I'm sorry I just want him to uh, stay um, stay forward that's really important I put him to stay forward I put this guy stay back while attacking and I put this guy to a balanced attack because he's got high high work rates he's the he, he's the Conte of the brazil team a good player i would suggest you guys look into uh he's got uh he's spacey he comes back behind really quickly he goes up in attack really quickly amazing uh so my wingers right mid and left mid i put caught inside and get him behind passing to suarez who's got get him behind as well now this won't make him run behind uh the opponents but it will just make him pass the ball he will hold the ball and then you will just pass it uh towards uh, the right mids, cams or left mids that are getting in behind. These three guys are getting in behind uh, while you pass and hold the ball and it's amazing. Like I I've been winning 8-1 my games, 5-0. Um, and uh, it, it's working really good for me right now uh, and I'm not a pro player I just found out that the tactics are really important uh, and showing you guys the tactics uh, okay this is a bit high I usually get it like to uh, um, 88 or something like that but okay 91 is good as well uh, I found that speed is really important because it will make your players run more faster better up front um, I'm, I'm not sure about the passing in the build-up play the passing has been amazing so I just left it at 50 
I do think it's it's working great for me. But with the chance creation, I want them to be a bit riskier. I want the passings to be a bit riskier, so I put it up just by 10. Uh, crossing 75, that's what I had last year. But this year, I don't find uh, this crossing thing works very well. So I can just put it back to like 60 or 50. Um, it wasn't something where I saw a lot of my... Um, my players running that much up forward like last year uh, shooting uh, I just put it up a bit because I want them to shoot more because it's easier to shoot from uh, other ranges as well positioning free form I want my players to run all over the pitch left right change places and all of that I want them to be everywhere and it's working great with the free form pressure I put it on 40 and I found that the less pressure you have with a fast speed of build up play you get like your defending is really better I found that my defending was way better I can see less goals because my defenders don't go that up high when we attack. So they stay a bit down when the when when we lose the ball and uh, there is also uh, my opponents don't get into those counterattacks that much more. I just left this aggression and team with as it is because uh, I don't find it that it changes a lot if I put it up or if I put it down. So it was pretty basic like this. Uh, but yeah, right now this is the formation, boys. This is my tactics that I use. Really important to have a really uh, physical uh, striker. Uh, the weak foot is what I'm looking for usually in my strikers and all of that. But even if you don't have, if you have three star weak foot, it's still good if you apply these tactics. The weak foot is just for for shooting and for better uh, executing your shots and making more goals and all of that uh, thank you guys for watching this video i hope it wasn't too long uh, make sure to follow me on all my social media stream again on twitch today and make sure to drop that sub cheers